Welcome to another episode of At Odds, powered and proudly sponsored by Unibet, with these esteemed gentlemen here, Hammer, June and Fletch. Now, uh, word on the breeze is, Fletch, you've got half an idea where Russ might be. Oh, yes. Uh, Yes, news just in that Rash hasn't cleared up, but he will be back next Thursday. So, the topical uh, ointment that the doctor gave him. Yeah, so he'll be back next week. Hope it heals, Russ. All right, let's get down to business. June, you're chipping away, mate. That is yours. Congratulations. Oh, geez, Gosh, chipping away. Well, mate, mate, he's mate, flying. You're flying. You've got the, in front you got of you the right? hammer down, absolutely. Why don't you tell us a bit about how it all went for you last week, mate? Oh. Very good, obviously. Um, got the place all up, uh, easy as you like, frankly yeah. awesome, um, into, what was my other one? Um, <laughs> um, I believe it was Castle Vecchio. Vecchio. Castle Vecchio. Yes. Yeah, both ran third, so easy. Outstanding. Missed out on the Hail Mary, but can't win everything, can we? No, what was your Hail Mary? Oh, it was the, no, it wasn't. No, no, Rory. Rory. Yes, for the golf. T- oh. Tiger, how good was Tiger? Tiger. Oh, amazing. Unbelievable. Redemption. Did you stay up? Did you stay up, Great. boys? I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's good. I didn't right. go home. That's Speaking good. of staying up, um, our esteemed soccer guest last week, Mark Schwarzer, um, his Hail Mary got up with Fulham at fives, which was a fantastic pick by him. Mm-hmm. Um, and his slam uh, went down the gurgler, but that is also the uh, nature of the beast. Fletch, how did your picks go last week? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Swans cost me. Swans, one leg. Buddy's got to go, I think. Uh, that was the only one you missed out on? Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, yeah, my hail's no good either. Okay. I don't want to talk about it, Disco. Unfortunate. I look at this ladder and Junior is flying. I'm running second, but uh, <laughs> it's a long way between. You better between. get back <laughs> to your old mate. Cheers. Yeah, yeah nah. Cheers for and Shane, tips. let's uh, not, run Not it, good, mate. I'm the same with Brisbane in the, in the league. Oh, they are mm-hmm. killing me. Only leg that lost again, I would have a chance to be able to cash in, but two weeks in a row, so they're done for me. You're out of play on the first two, you just hit it out of bounds. You know, Thursday you know, night. <laughs> I should money. just wait till Sunday, and at least then I've got something to look forward to. Fair play. And uh, Russ's picks, uh, both bottled. Yeah. Mm. How'd you go, Disco? I know we don't talk about yours, but yours got to come up on the uh, Yours are confusing on the ladder. The time. <laughs> did yours uh, win? Yes, we did. We got up. We got, yeah. the, uh, we got the lock up at about $10.50. Yeah, it yeah, was good. Yeah. So you said the you safety car. The safety car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Around the Grounds, and we're going to start with the hardwood with the NBA playoffs. Shane, what's happening? Yes, happened? bring it on. Golden State went down yesterday. Unbelievable. They dropped a 31-point lead, fellas. Never been Jeez. done in the history of the game with those superstars as well. I don't think it'll happen again. They'll be too good. And Ben Simmons, he bounced back from a bad start. They won game two. He had a triple-double. But I'm not convinced about Philly. Dollar thirty to win the series, and they wouldn't be getting any of my money. He's, he's got the Kardashian curse. Yep. Curse going <laughs> off. It is. Mm. It is, isn't it? Because yeah. they've, they've gone through a few basketballs. Yeah. <laughs> Not, I mean, gr- on, sorry. Gr- on too, <laughs> sorry, I mean, you know, dating wise. Don't take right. that the wrong way. Gr- from, from, <laughs> no. no gr- oh, yeah, yeah, Reggie Bush. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're right. right. Well, from one scandal to another, potentially. I don't have a profile to protect, so I'll throw you in, Fletch. Mm-hmm. What's happening with GI? GI's retired. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all the other clubs are. Well, it hasn't been, I suppose it hasn't been uh, official now, but they're saying that. South Sydney will have 1.5 million, which was GI's wage in the coffers for this year and next year. But um, look, GI's terrific player. I mean, he started on the wing, but he won a Clive Churchill at six, won a Golden Boot at three. But I think his best position was one. Probably just shows how versatile the player was. And South Sydney are definitely, are definitely going to miss him. And how do you think they'll go this Friday? Uh, the Chooks. Mm. Your Chooks in Melbourne? Oh, but no, no, Bunnies and uh, oh, Bulldogs. Bunnies and Bulldogs, yeah, good Friday game. Look, I, I think the Bulldogs, uh, that. A lot. Uh, the Melbourne game took a lot out of them because they were dreadful last week. And I think South Sydney will respond in front of a big crowd. I think South Sydney. I think one. Uh, yeah, yeah, they went easy. I think they can probably cover that start, which is about eight and a half. Sure. I think a lot of people think that Storm and Roosters are going to be the talk of the weekend. Yeah, we'll that's for grand, final game, re- right? grand final replay. Chooks flying. Or the, or be it, yeah, they're. I mean, they're pumping. They, pay, they, good, they put good, thirty good on. Good one half. They put More thirty on the Sharks. Different kettle of fish down there. It gets a bit slippery down there. Who are you betting on, mate? Well, I'm going to back Melbourne, only for the yeah. fact that um, the Roosters have Joseph Marnie out in the right centre. Mitch Orbo goes in. He's just hasn't. He's, he's reliable, but he just hasn't had have that flair. But what about um, Latrell Mitchell? He's playing well. He, yeah. He, he, finding form. Fine. Last week he was good. He's I'll been stir him up a little bit. Mate. Well, bit Melbourne have got that. He's got Will Chambers in front of him. Who's the king of it? King of sledging. Could be a dust up, Who doesn't love a good sledge? Yeah. Oh, speaking of sledging, June, World Cup coming up. Yes, and the Australians are firmed into an equal second favourites, I think, at $4. Um, the squad was picked this week. No real surprises, apart from Peter Hanscom would count himself unlucky. He played well in I'm, India and Pakistan. I don't want to who, Who's going to open? 
I think uh, Finch and Warner will open. I'd definitely open with Warner. There's talk about Kawad opening with Finch because they did it in Pakistan, yeah. but that that was on very flat pitches against a mediocre attack. Warner, for my liking, is the key. He's got to open. Why wouldn't he? I mean, he's, he could win us the game. That squad, we won eight in a row. Yep. Um, how will they feel about Smith and Warner coming back? How would you feel about it? Like, well, I mean, they're two great players. So I, I know, but... Wouldn't, realistically, you'd think they're better players than, be better team. than guys that were in there. Having said that, they did a good job, but you've got to pick them. You know, Smith's actually struggling a little bit in the IPL, but Warner's playing well. Um, I don't think Smith's an automatic selection. It'll depend on form leading up to the World Cup. They've got a few more games to play there, but I think Warner definitely in the team. Surely Where's the betting value? Time. Hey? Yeah, yeah I, mean, I know, time, but this, this mob, I mean, this mob's won eight in a row. The current team has won eight in a row. Yeah, they they beat Pakistan, grudge. and they might, have won, they might have won easier if Warner and Smith were there. You beat have you India. ever thought of that? Well, no, I don't think about that, because they weren't there, because they were... <laughs> No, Cheating. good side. I think, I think the value in the World Cup, though, is New Zealand and the West Indies. Uh, New Zealand, I think they're about $12. The West Indies are around $17. They're very dangerous. The Afghanistan, what are they paying? They're 60s, maybe 70s. They side. can beat a few teams. Can't win it, but they can, they can no. threaten a few of the good sides. Awesome. Moving over to AFL now, Hammer. Your beloved Cats. They went down, went down Cats. to uh, the Giants. Giants too good. Cats had control and uh, just couldn't get it done at home. But uh, I think the Giants this week are a good thing. My team. I think they will give it to Fremantle. How many teams are you got? Oh, ambassador from the oh, Giants. Talking about you a Swans I'll bring man a scarf last week. next week if you want. <laughs> yeah. And a jersey. Swartz. Swartz I, think is that's, I think that's the best around. Absolutely. I reckon the Giants, but um, some good games. Cats coming up against the Hawks. Always such tradition between these two clubs that have won a lot of premierships. Uh, I think it'll be a close one, but I'd be on Geelong 1 to 39. And will you be tuning into Lions versus Collingwood? I will have a look at that. That's a close game. Lions have been great, particularly at home. Um, I'd be more likely to take the plus nine and a half than the you minus. You're a tip a winner too, just quietly. No, no, I'm all right in this. It's oh, just my multis okay. that I've got to get out of the line with. <laughs> All right, and June, you can cap us out with Around the Grounds with racing. Yes, uh, good uh, meeting on Saturday at Royal Randwick. Uh, the All Age Stakes, great race. Uh, very similar to the Everest. Osborne Bull's my old yeah. mate. I'm on him again. You don't like him, though. I do like him, but I'm not backing him this week. Who are you no. backing? No, I'm not, I'll, tell you, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you in my Hail Mary. Ooh. Yeah, I like uh, Osborne Bull's. And the Champagne Stakes, the two year olds are over a mile. I think Castle Vecchio and Loving Gabby are uh, the standout um, two horses there. And now over to Mark Schwarzer for his insight this week. Thanks, Fletch, mate. Good to see you in the hot seat. Tell you what, though, the par's not very high, so I'm sure you'll do really, really well. Listen, I'm in this unbelievable stadium. Camp Nou, home to Barcelona. Over 99,000 people fit in this wonderful place. Anyway, you guys want to talk about Premier League, and, of course, it is all hotting up this weekend. We've got Manchester City, huge fixture. This is the one. If they overcome Tottenham, I'm sure they'll go on and win the title, but it's a big if. But I still do fancy him winning. It's going to be tight, though. Liverpool? Great win at home to Chelsea last weekend. They've got a game away at Cardiff City. Don't really see too many problems for them overcoming that one either. And we've got Arsenal, whose home record is very, very good, and they're playing Crystal Palace. Again, three, three points for the home team. Chelsea is my biggest concern. At home to Burnley. Burnley, over the last couple of years, have caused upsets. Anyway, let's see what happens, guys. Back to you. I told you, gentlemen. I've told you. Swartzy, thank you very much. I've been saying that for six weeks. I should be the host. You know the drill, this is the shot clock. 60 seconds, back or lay. Let's quick fire through the props, boys. You ready? Yes, yes. Ready let's do it. Roosters, one to 12 over the Storm, paying $3.10. I yes. spoke about that earlier, I'm laying I'm that. backing that. Storm. AFL, Sydney Swans, 16 and a half head start versus Richmond, $1.90. You like that, I'm backing that. Over to the uh, Premier League, Man United to beat Everton, away game, $2.20. Yes. No, lay it. Backing them. Come on. Playoffs, mm. Boston Celtics, minus eight versus Pacers at home, $2.02. Take that. Yeah, of course. Follow the hammer. Follow yeah. the hammer. Straight in. Into cricket, Australia to win the World Cup, four bucks. No. Oh. Can I go like that? Half, half? Come on, the Afghans. Um, <laughs> Afghans. Too they, short. They can win it, but they're too short. All right. Racing, Osborne Bulls, 380 to win the All-Age Stakes. Oh, no. Get on him. <laughs> Back it. <laughs> Castle Vecchio, 340 to win the Champagne Stakes. No. First or second. Yep. Mm. Russ's, that's part of Russ's. We'll um, back in. Yeah, okay. Um, and on the back of Tiger's victory, can Kelly Slater ring the bell? You know what? I'm going to back him. It's paying 26. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. back Kelly. He's been ripping lately. Oh, oh, wow. That's time, boys. All right. And just again, the final one here, just uh, fresh, off, uh, fresh off the email. Um, will Russ return uh, with any manner of cosmetic procedure performed? 
enlargement. Well, he has a stop over in Bangkok. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Some capital sort of enlargement, I reckon. Yeah. I've gone enlargement. I've got a reduction over there. It was, <laughs> did you? It worked really well. These are the Hail Marys, the hard and fast big odds shots from the boys that they really fancy this week. And to get on them, please visit unibet.com.au for your footy fill ups and top price racing specials. June. I'm going first. I've got the trophy, so I'll go first. Yes. Uh, my Hail Mary's NRL this weekend. The Roosters, the Eels, the Dragons to win, and the Rabbitohs 13 plus against mm. the Doggies. So, Roosters and Melbourne, that's a bit of a tricky one. Yeah. I'm going the Roosters okay. down there. All right, well, I'm going Pirata to win into trekking to run a place. So I'm going back to racing. Okay. Are Probably. you copying him? No. I, well, I, I am. Sort Look of. where he is. He's on yeah, two he's silly thousand dollars. <laughs> Good luck, mate. Good luck. Thank you very much. All right, I'm going to AFL. Giants, I need a win. Minus 34 and a half as we speak against Freo. I think they'll slap them. The Crows against the Gold Coast, uh, minus 15 and a half. Melbourne, 1 to 39 against the Saints. That'll be a close one. And Richmond will be way too good for the Swans because they stink right now. Miss okay. is the getting thrown around. Uh, now, Russ's uh, Hail Mary is Pierrata the place and Castle Vecchio for the win. Into the slam dunks, the sure things from the experts. Let's hear them. Yeah, I'm going first. Uh, Royal Randwick, a uh, racing uh, slam dunk. A bit of pressure on Castle Vecchio here. He's in everyone's tips. So I've got him with loving Gabby to run the Quinella and the Champagne Stakes. Nice. Hammer? I like it. Uh, well, I've got three NBA games on Thursday. So the Bucks 11 plus, get on that. Celtics and Rockets, I think they'll win, not convincingly. And then at night, just put your feet up and watch the Sharks win for the Shire. Mm. Okay. They need some down there, the Shire. You been down there? Goodness me. Cut it out. <laughs> uh, Russ's uh, slam dunk is uh, North Melbourne plus 10.5, Sydney plus 16.5, and, and the Western Bulldogs. Okay. okay, well, I'm going. I'm back to the NRL. I've got Dragons, Warriors, and Bunnies head to head, and I'm going to throw in the Essendon Bombers. What are your thoughts of that? You don't I like, like the Bombers, do you? No, no, I'm, I'm laying them this week. Not yeah. sure. No, too All much. Right. Okay, well, now as I am the host of the show, Swartzy, what have you got for us, mate? Guys, my slam dunk is Everton to win at home to Manchester United and my Hail Mary is Burnley to pick up three points away at my old club, Chelsea. Sorry, Chelsea. And that's this week's episode of At Odds. Now, we do have a bit of an announcement. Um, we're planning a bit of a party. We're inviting all these gentlemen and the fans at home. I hope so. We'll have a June 15, can I jump in here? Because this is my domain. June 15, <laughs> because we've won so much money, well, Junior has, yeah. we are going to put a TBC an event. We're going to have 100 of our closest punting friends, and we're all going to be there, and it's an old-fashioned lock-in. So bring your gumboots. Look at him. I like it. What's on? We've got the racing. I oh, know there's a World Cup going yeah. on too. Sri Lanka, the NRL will be on. Footy. This will be top of the Footy. comp. Yeah, I yeah. like it. So be sure to keep tabs at unibet.com.au to find out how you can be a part of it.